Hello everyone, here is Manuel and this is my review of 2022. Hi, and welcome to a really special edition of Your Health with Dr. Christie on the road. We're waiting for a train to continue to travel further into Italy. We're going to Venice later today. So far, I've traveled from Austin to Paris, Paris to Switzerland, Switzerland via train into Italy. And it's been fascinating to see how Europe has handled COVID. One of the first things I've noticed is that everyone is very compliant with masks and most people actually are wearing the KN95. Open is about to begin in Melbourne without its defending men's champion. Novak Djokovic has been deported after losing his legal challenge to the cancelling of his visa. The judges ruled in favour of the Australian government who said his refusal to be vaccinated against Covid made him a threat to public health. Well, okay. I'm out here. Uh oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Мною принято решение о проведении специальной военной операции. This is what a Russian cruise missile looks and sounds like. And this is the sound of the Ukrainian army intercepting. <laughs> Powerful explosions damaged the two Nord Stream gas pipelines. The leaks have become a flashpoint in the Ukraine crisis. We will remove all remaining domestic restrictions in Norway. From, from this Thursday, 24th of February, we will end the legal requirement to self-isolate following a positive test. That's me in the emergency room. The trial was set into motion by this 2018 Washington Post op-ed, where Amber described herself as a public figure representing domestic abuse. It was a global spectacle that gave fans new insight into their toxic 15-month marriage. Ultimately, Deb came out on top. Amber owes him more than 10 million bucks, while she was awarded $2 million. To my dying day, will stand by every word of my testimony. In total, $45 billion worth of everyday people's money was lost in less than a week. Around the internet, people are calling this the 2008 crisis of crypto. And now, you're right in the middle of it. Shinzo Abe was giving a political speech to a small crowd when a shot rang out behind him. Then another. And he fell to the ground. Well, good afternoon. We start with a new UK record temperature that has been set this afternoon at Heathrow Airport. 40.2 degrees was recorded. This is the moment. This is the moment. Hundreds of thousands of people have come to say thank you. She's having uh, treatment or that indeed they are unable to help her Majesty anymore. A few moments ago, Buckingham Palace announced the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. The world of competitive chess was upended in September when 19-year-old American Grandmaster Hans Smokey Neiman was accused of cheating by five-time world champion Magnus Carlsen. The allegations surfaced last month after Carlsen abruptly withdrew from the Sinkfield Cup in St. Louis after losing a game against Neiman. Anal beadwhile, the chess world has been rocked by rumors of anal beads. They call it castling. Here's the accusation. Last week, world chess champion Magnus Carlsen was unexpectedly defeated by underdog Hans Niemann. And now fans speculate Niemann had an accomplice who was watching the game being broadcast live online and consulting an AI chess program, then using wireless anal beads that vibrate to Niemann the correct moves. I know it's unlikely, but it would explain his unique style of play. Knight to king seven. 
<laughs> Over $150 billion. In three days, that's how much the world's 15 largest cryptocurrencies lost in market value. It's because of the crypto exchange platform FTX. Celebrities promoted the platform in ads. It's okay to do a deal that is moderately bad. So this evening, the U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York has confirmed the arrest of FTX founder Sam Bankman Freed in the Bahamas. Officials in the Bahamas say the former cryptocurrency CEO was arrested after they were made aware of charges filed against him in the U.S. The Prime Minister of the Bahamas says the two countries have a shared interest in holding Bankman Freed accountable while the U.S. pursues charges against the tech founder. Well, here he is, Nick. Let's see what the Prime Minister has to say. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. It, thank you, thank you. It is clearly now the will of the Parliamentary Conservative Party that there should be a new leader of that party and therefore a new Prime Minister. The total number of valid votes given to each candidate was as follows. Rishi Sunak, 60,399. Liz Truss, 81,326. Therefore, I give notice that Liz Truss is elected as the leader of the Conservative and Unionist Party. It's an honour to be elected as leader of the Conservative and Unionist Party. Uh, first of all, though, the pounds, you know, this is a pretty historic moment, pretty all about the pound. And what is that story? We'll have a look at this. There it went down after the speech. I recognise, though, given the situation, I cannot deliver the mandate on which I was elected by the Conservative Party. I have therefore spoken to His Majesty the King to notify him that I am resigning as leader of the Conservative Party. Will Liz Truss outlast a lettuce because of a turn of phrase <laughs> that someone else used that, you know, what's going to, she's roughly got the, the shelf life of a lettuce. There we have it. It looks like Danielle, the lettuce outlasted the Prime Minister. Good morning. I've just been to Buckingham Palace and accepted His Majesty the King's invitation to form a government in his name. After revolutionizing the space race and electric cars, the world's richest man is now promising a Twitter makeover, renaming his own account Chief Twit and proclaiming the bird is freed. The Elon Musk Twitter saga continues as a social media outfit told employees that its office buildings will be temporarily closed. The announcement comes amid reports that large numbers of staff were quitting after new owner Elon Musk called on them to sign up for long hours at high intensity or quit. Facebook stock price has fallen by over 50% in only seven months. What's going on? Well, let's begin by looking at the day on which this price decline began. The 2nd of February 2022, when the parent company of Facebook and Instagram lost $230 billion of value in less than 24 hours. Just to give you an idea about how much money $230 billion is, the total GDP GDP of New Zealand being the value of every single product or service produced by the entire country for the whole year was only 210 billion, which is less than what Facebook lost in a day. Well, shares of NVIDIA are down about 5% in the session on a day when we've seen uh, tech names down broadly here. This coming on the back of a Bloomberg report that the chipmaker has reportedly made plans to quietly walk away from that $40 billion deal to acquire ARM. Let's the latest concern Consumer price index report uh, sent Wall Street down a downward spiral. The Dow Jones dropped around 4%. The S&P 500 and NASDAQ also took losses. This is the worst single day on Wall Street since June of 2020 after the pandemic. It was you know, one of the hardest calls that I've, I've had to make in, in, in the 18 years of running the company. Company-wide announcements from tech CEOs have all had similarities recently. This is a very difficult decision. Tough decision. Amazon is preparing to lay off up to 10,000 workers. Meta is cutting 11,000. Netflix has made big cuts, so has Shopify. Business reporter Alexis Christopher is joining me now for even more. We just saw the piece there. Prices continue just to skyrocket. The new Italian Prime Minister, Giorgia Meloni, has addressed Parliament for the first time. Her... Io sono intervenuta molte volte in quest'aula. 
da deputato, da vicepresidente della Camera, da ministro della gioventù. Eppure la solennità è tale che credo di non essere mai riuscita a intervenire senza che in me ci fosse un sentimento di emozione e di profondo rispetto. Vale ovviamente a maggior ragione oggi che mi rivolgo a voi in qualità di Presidente del Consiglio dei Ministri per chiedervi di eh, eh, esprimervi sulla fiducia a un governo da me guidato. You're watching Al Jazeera. A reminder of our headlines this hour. Former president and leftist leader Lula da Silva has been declared the winner of a knife-edge presidential runoff election. Chegamos ao final de uma das mais importantes eleições da nossa história. Uma eleição que colocou frente a frente dois projetos opostos no país. E que hoje tem um único e grande vencedor, o povo brasileiro. Until the women of Iran are free, we are going to stand with you. Jian, Jian, Azadi, women, life, freedom. Yes, Christian. Well, most Brits know about Sri Lanka because it's a great tourist destination or because it's the source of some of the best tea in the world, but also, of course, because of the civil war, the brutal war that ended here 13 years ago. This place is truly blessed by nature, but also cursed by some appalling politics. The latest incarnation, which combines both the global cost of living crisis caused by Ukraine and COVID and domestic dynastic regime-like politics of the Rajapaska family that had no fewer than six members, including four brothers, at the top levels of government. That's what these protesters behind me are on about. They want that dynasty to disappear from politics, but they don't seem to be getting their way anytime soon. The anger had been brewing for months. On Monday, it combusted. BTS is revealing exactly how long their break will be. In a statement released on October 17th by the band's label, Big Hit Music, the award-winning K-pop group, comprised of seven members, will be on hiatus until 2025. The condemnation of Kanye West is reaching fever pitch, intensifying after he was banned from Twitter for this anti-Semitic tweet, DEFCON 3 on Jewish people. Breaking news this morning, Adidas confirming it is ending its lucrative partnership with Kanye West, now known as Ye. The company saying in a statement, Ye's recent comments and actions have been unacceptable, hateful, and dangerous, and they violate the company's values of diversity and inclusion, mutual respect, and fairness. Are you following the, the story of Adidas with Yeezy and uh, uh, who owns the design, who owns all of it? Adidas to sell shoes based on Yeezy designs following break with Kanye. What do they do? Here's an idea. To my tennis family and beyond. Of all the gifts that tennis has given me over the years, the greatest, without a doubt, has been the people I've met along the way. My friends, my competitors, and most of all the fans who give the sport its life. The Labour Cup next week in London will be my final ATP event. For many soccer lovers around the world, awarding Qatar the 2022 World Cup was a huge mistake.
Pelé, the Brazilian football legend, widely regarded as the greatest player of all time, has died at the age of 82. And this year's Nobel Prize in Physics has been awarded to Alana Spey, John Clauser, and Anton Zeilinger, whose collective works have carried out that test, establishing to most people's satisfaction that Einstein's conventional view of reality is ruled out, that quantum entanglement is real. Imagine having a program that can give you investment research, generate and debug code, create a Twitter bot for you when you have no knowledge of coding, create a weight loss plan, be a personal assistant, mental health support, marketing SEO strategist, write movie scripts, essays, and much more. This is now a reality thanks to ChatGPT, a program released on the 30th of November, 2022. Long story short, ChatGPT has the potential to turn the work of one man into the productivity of 10 men. 